probably one of the few parts of the garden that actually is in the full sun and the owner has taken maximum use of it right here with the view in the background and made it a hugely focal area of the garden and how has this been achieved? Well, by making sure that the garden bed is edged with the lovely cobble edging and it's the symmetry. You see the lines come in, step back, come in, step back, leading you into the point behind me. And that is really how cleverly this has been done. Also to bring the whole garden together, little hedging that's been used here and on that side. So we're seeing the symmetry, we're seeing the balance, the balance once again with the pots on either side of me and the hedge just right at the back to finish it off. So you're drawn into this area. The little hedge is called Spirea, or it's called the Cape May, and it's a plant that can grow almost all over the country. It flowers in spring with little, little white flowers that almost look like confetti. In the very colder parts of South Africa in winter, it loses all its leaves. With this little spirea, when it loses its leaves in winter, don't prune it because then you prune away all the flower buds. It should be pruned after flowering. So beginning of summer when it's finished flowering, well then you give it its little haircut. There's some great plants inside this bed and look at this awesome combination. Ain, this is one of the most old fashioned plants that is so delightful, tough as nails and really for this look, soft, flowing, billowing look, it is a great plant that will never let you down. It's called a Shasta Daisy. It's one of probably the oldest, most used and most loved daisies that you'll ever find. When you buy it in the garden centre, it comes in little bags, never looks like much in a bag, but put it into the garden and it's going to do something like this. As long as you've got lots of sun, prune it back when it's finished flowering and away it'll come again. With the combination of the borage next to it, a herb, yes, a herb in the middle of the garden, of the flower bed. I mean, look at that beautiful combo of the beautiful blue against the white. And then this little guy here, I mean, look at all my flowers, he's fabulous. This is a little annual called Chrysanthemum pallidosum. You buy it in, in trays, normally looks probably not like much in the garden center, but pop it out into your garden and you'll have it forever because it reseeds. It'll start popping up all over in your garden as a bright sunshine of color just for the summer and even into autumn, it gives you such a great show. But it's a great combination, this bed of perennials, bit of colour, some symmetry and all in all really pleasing on the eye.